Spring game number seven. Huh? It's a cold one. But uh, the first thing I guess I'd say is uh, what a great crowd. Great crowd out there today. You know, for the weather, woke up this morning, snow on the ground and everything else. And uh, you know, we had 800 plus uh, young people uh, come to our uh, youth clinic, which was tremendous. We had about, uh, you know, with parents and everything, probably 12, 1,400 people in that, in our facility. So I think that was outstanding. And then a great crowd came to the spring game. So I want to thank everybody for that and all of their support. As far as the game itself, I think uh, what you saw is how important turnovers are, how it can really cut into the plays. Again, on one side, in terms of the white, it can really cut into the number of plays that they have. But when you return two, two uh, turnovers for a touchdown, that's like a Yahtzee deal. So uh, you know your plays are, are going to be limited, but at the same time, you get 14 points. So I thought our green team uh, did some nice things, but you know, uh, We've got to learn to stay in the pocket and not run around with the ball and take it as they come sometimes. But I thought Connor Cook executed, uh, threw the ball well, uh, but uh, you know had a couple of probably critical errors running backwards and around. And you know that's something he has to learn to do if he's out here in the crowd somewhere. Um, as far as the white team, I thought Maxwell uh, was consistent, had some drop passes. The wind was swirling out there. It was bad weather conditions. But um, nevertheless, I thought that uh, he threw the ball pretty effectively, but you got to catch it on the other other side. Uh, had some guys make some big plays. Arnett got involved, made some big plays. Happy to see that. Uh, Benny Fowler, uh, from what I saw, I saw Burbage made some big plays for the green as well. So those three receivers on the green side did very well. I thought Riley Bullough did a nice job uh, running with the ball. Uh, and uh, you know, we threw some things in there um, from an offensive play calling standpoint that was that was nice to see as well. I think we did. I think we came out every day and we got better. Um, and that was our goal, was just to build one practice on top of the next. And I feel like we really brought our effort, we really brought our enthusiasm every day, and that's great, that's crucial, because you only get so few practices in the spring, and uh, you got to get your work done. I feel like that's what we did. A lot of guys stepped up, particularly on the white, white defense, and that's been something we've been preaching, you know. Uh, the whole spring is to make turnovers, and not only get the turnovers, but, you know, score with them. So proud of them, they played well. You know, we're ready to go. We had a good spring. I think guys were competing, guys got better, and. You know, now we have some workouts in the summer, run around for a few, a few months, and then we're back at it in the fall. I think overall we had a really, really good spring with uh, all the guys and stuff like that. And uh, what more do you want than to come out here on a nice cold uh, spring afternoon and uh, celebrate that by uh, topping off for the spring game? Um, we got we got some things going on offense, and our defense was able to make some stops. But in the end, uh, White pulled out, and they made a couple more plays than we did. You know, we found our playmakers. We found guys that we know that can make plays uh, in the wide position, even in the running back spot with Riley Bullis stepping up big time with the running back. Um, um, and I think I'm just excited for what for what our defense um, is going to be like this year, and then also with our offense. I think I think a lot of guys are going to come out and uh, just prove, it to, prove themselves. It was nice to be overturn to be over able to overturn a, a referee's decision. So I was really excited about that at the end of the game. And um, but uh, you know you're trying to get the TV, get the Big Ten network off the air uh, right at uh, 4:30 and trying to run a two-minute drill, so I'm trying to make sure it, you get a little TV coverage so it's a little bit out of whack there. Green team could have used their timeouts at the end as well. But uh, I thought it was a competitive game. I think our guys come to play and they compete. They have fun with it. We split it up. Um, we don't make it ones versus everybody else. So it, it does get a little bit uh, split up. You don't have people working with each other. You know, we lost um, Cody Keeler early in the first series, who works as our second team uh, uh, center. So. We get ready to go.